What's up, everyone? I uh, hope everyone's doing well. This is gonna be a contest response, contest entry for Jonas, uh, Sublime Media. Um, congrats on the 1,000 subs. Cheers. Um, yeah, you deserve it, man. I love your channel. You make uh, great videos. I love all the Swedish and uh, I don't know, Northern European, I guess, jazz and stuff you show. I think mainly it's Swedish, but I think you've showed some other stuff before too, so. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be mainly showing jazz, if you don't know, my channel. I, I think you know Jonas, but mainly the most rare records I have are jazz, so if that's not your thing, um, I guess don't watch. But um, I do have other things, which are, I guess, to be considered relatively rare, like, I don't know. Like I have this Metallica Kill em All OG on a Mega Force, the original. I have, like, the... Like, uh, and Justice for All, like that, too, the original pressing. The original Magma, um, Gold Ball, I think it's their second album. On the Eurus label, I think it was the first pressing. I don't know how rare, they're like $100 records, I don't know how rare that is. It might be rare to some people, um, for, for press gong records. <clears throat> Excuse me, first press, I don't know how rare those are to people, but not really to me. Um, so I'm just going to show jazz, because that's mainly what I have for rare stuff, in my opinion. This is what we're listening to. Uh, Musa, Stanley Cowell. This could be considered rare, some people. Um, it's definitely harder to find now than it used to be, for sure. Great solo piano jazz. Um, I know when people hear piano jazz, solo piano jazz, it's, they're kind of put off sometimes, but this is fantastic. Um, yeah, I highly recommend checking this out. If you don't know it, but on to the records. So, first up here, this is Piper of Dreams by Tony... Tony. Carlo Vinci Jr. Sorry, not Tony. It's signed to Tony. That's why I said Tony, but... Um, yeah, Carlo Vinci Jr. So, I don't know too much about this guy. I think he's from New Jersey. Uh, Chris Cole put me onto this record a few years back. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Like, jazzy, psychedelic at times. Um, yeah, it's like a private press thing. I think this is the only record he's put out. Sorry if there's a glare. It didn't shrink, so... Probably gonna be a glare anyway, but it's what the label looks like. Um, yeah, like I said, jazzy sort of psychedelic at times. I believe he plays all the instruments on here for the most part. Um, yeah, really interesting record though. I love it. Oh, cool picture in the back there. Most of the copies that I've seen are signed by him, or at least a good number of them are. So. This one was sealed when I got it. Um, crapped it open, but there's that. This one's not expensive, but it's hard to find. It doesn't really come up too often. So when it does come up, it usually doesn't go for a lot. I would say like 20, 30 bucks maybe. It's what I've seen it for, but um, yeah, it's not, you know, just doesn't come up, so. Uh, next up here, one that's definitely been talked about a bit in the BC, Horace Tapscott. Uh, the Giant is Awakened, or it's top got Quintet, this is on Flying Dutchman, this Target label. This was uh, my number one want, Grail, whatever you want to call it, for the longest time. Um, I wanted this so bad, and when I finally got it, I was just overjoyed. I was just like, this record is fantastic, this is one of my favorite records just ever recorded, period. Fantastic jazz. Um, a little bit dirty on the inside, it's stained, but I don't care. I got this. The record itself is in great shape. I got it in a trade uh, with someone on Instagram that I used to trade with, so just really, really happy to have this. It's not um, easy to get, I think, and when it does come up, I think it's like a couple hundred bucks or something. You guys can uh, look it up. I don't know what it goes for now. That's what it used to go for. It used to go for a hundred. And then it just like shot up in price for whatever reason. A hundred or less, I guess, even. So I definitely see it, it used to go for less. It was like a handful of years ago, it was going for decent prices. But yeah, Horace Tapscott, Giants Awakened, uh, fantastic jazz record. My uh, Flying Dutchman. Uh, Cleve Pozar, solo percussion joint. I believe this is on his own label, CSP. Um, I never see these, I never really see anyone show this. Um, I think a couple of people have showed it on the VC 
since I showed it, but this was a while back. Um, yeah, it is. It's just solar percussion, but it's really, really good. He plays other instruments on this as well, but mostly just percussion. Uh, there's a track on here called, uh, what is it, Cosmic Peace? I think it's called Cosmic Peace, and it's fantastic. Um, definitely cosmic for sure, so definitely lives up to its name. Yeah, so he's got like pre-recorded sounds on here, like pre-recorded chorus and like uh, live bass, like double bass, um, and then he just plays the percussion over that. So he does have other instruments mixed in with the percussion, it's not just solely um, solar percussion, but um, some of it is. So, But yeah, fantastic, kind of a minimalist cover here. I don't know, I've always loved this cover, it's just pretty plain, but it just works. And the label too, it's just plain, but I really like the design, so... Yeah, Cleve Posar, um, you guys might have heard of him, fantastic percussionist, drummer. I actually got that copy from uh, Cleve himself when he found, um, I guess he found a, a box of uh, records that he had, so I decided to sell them. So, uh, this one here, another huge one, still looking to upgrade my sleeve of this, but Phil Muser Group, Creator Spaces, I know this was reissued recently by uh now again egon uh this is the original on intex sound so fortunately as you can see my coffee does have water damage the front and on the back too so obviously keep it separate in a separate outer sleeve and it has the paste on on the back as well um yeah i'm still looking for Local Cosmic Solo LP, first LP. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get the originals, even though it was reissued on Now Again. The original doesn't sound bad, though. It doesn't... Um, sounds pretty pretty damn good to my ears, so... I think maybe the Michael Cosmic one doesn't sound as good, but this is fantastic. Free uh, free jazz, definitely uh, out there, so... Um, if you're not into out there experimental jazz, this probably isn't for you, but otherwise... Yeah, really cool find right, right here. Um, really happy to have that one. Next up, Lloyd Miller, Impressions of Afghanistan. Um, been looking for this for a while before I found it, a couple years. Ended up getting it from uh, Lloyd Miller himself when he was selling records for a while online. He still might be, I don't know, you might just be able to hit him up through email and uh, buy some records from him, but, oh, sorry about that, just hit the camera. But, I got this and uh, I got another one from him as well. Um, I don't remember what it was, but I ended up flipping the other one. I kept this one. This is my favorite record from Lloyd Miller. Um, Eastern Jazz. I think the other one was Oriental Jazz. And um, that one's probably more well-known, more uh, revered, I guess, but I think this one's better. That one was all right to me. This is fantastic, so. Um, label, pretty plain label, once again. But... This was sealed as well, so I was kind of nervous to open it because I wasn't sure. But luckily it's not really warped, pretty straight. Um, yeah, I really love Eastern and Oriental Jazz. I have a few records like that in here, so... Um, yeah, like I said, fantastic. Sound quality isn't the best on some of the tracks, unfortunately, but... The playing is just uh, out of this world, in my opinion, so... Great, great stuff by Lloyd Miller. Impressions of Afghanistan. I think I got those for like 300 bucks for both of them, so pretty decent deal. Uh, another one that I wanted for the longest time, Joe McPhee, Nation Time. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Black jazz, Afro jazz, whatever. I want to call it militant jazz, free jazz, but just really, really great out there, free jazz. Um, I know it goes for quite a bit of money still, I think. Not easy to find. By any means. I believe there's a couple different pressings on a couple different label colors as the one I have. Uh, Joe McPhee, Mike Cole, Tyrone Crabb, Bruce Ernest, or I'm sorry, Ernest Bostick and Bruce Thompson. Just three tracks. Uh, the track Nation Time title track is probably most well known, but yeah, fantastic record. Definitely my favorite Joe McPhee work. Um, you know he's had quite a few records, especially on Hat Hut, he put out quite a few, but this is definitely my favorite. I'm 
still looking for um, Underground Railroad. That's another one that's pretty much just as up there for me in terms of wants as this, but I know this one's not easy to find, so um, this was one I'd probably never let go in my collection, but fantastic. Joe McPhee, Nation Time. I think this is from like 74 or something, 71. Another one of my favorite players here, um, Lloyd McNeil. This is, is it just Lloyd McNeil or Lloyd McNeil Quintet? Lloyd McNeil Quartet, Washington Suite. On his own Asha label, Asha. I know this one used to fetch quite a bit of money. There's the back information. I think it still goes for quite a bit. Um, I know I seen a sealed copy recently. I think for like five or six hundred, something like that. Um, my copy wasn't sealed when I got it, but it was in fantastic shape. Definitely a near mint, uh, near mint copy for sure. Once again, one that I got in a trade, so really happy. Great uh, flute, flute led jazz. Um, I love flute jazz, so this was definitely up my alley for sure. Um, you guys probably know Lloyd McNeil, Jonas. I'm sure you know this record. I'm sure, you've heard it before, but this is recorded in Washington D.C. Hence the name, Washington Suite. So, yeah, highly recommend checking it out. I'm sorry if I'm not talking about these records more in depth, but I've shown them all on my channel, so... Um, Jonas, I know you've watched a good bit of my videos, so... You've probably seen most of these records. Next up... Um, some more Eastern Jazz, Middle Eastern Jazz. Like I said, I love this stuff. This is uh, Omar Korshid. From, with Rhythms from the Past. This is from, I want to say 1970, 1974. Omar Korshid and his guitar. I think this had a couple different cover variants. Um, I really have no idea what it goes for because I kind of stopped looking after I found it. And I found it pretty quickly after I uh, started looking for it. So I think it was like a couple weeks after I started looking one popped up on eBay for a really decent price as a buy it now. So I'm to grab it. Uh, but yeah, fantastic guitar jazz. I'm not really into regular guitar jazz, but like Middle Eastern jazz like this, I, I love it. I think it's fantastic, so. I think this was like an import from uh, through New York. I know they did a lot of these imported through New York. This is a Lebanon pressing originally, I believe. Yeah, twice of Lebanon, so. Still looking for more of this guy's records, Khan Jamal, like Give the Vibe some. Um, I think this one was from 70. Four, I believe, on Palm, uh, featuring Clint Jackson on trumpet. It also has the drummer from uh, Magma. Uh, I don't forget his name, but he plays under an alias on here. Uh, what's his name? He plays under Hashan Rasid, I believe, on here. But so you have Khan Jamal, uh, Byer Lancaster. John Seed, who I, com I completely name always escapes me, but um, and then Clint Jackson the third. Yeah, so fantastic, fantastic stuff. Recorded in Europe, I believe. Uh, vibraphone jazz, vibraphonist. Just a trio recording, but vibes, drums, and trumpet so if that's and some of the tracks are solo tracks as well so just solo vibes and stuff like that so once again if that's not your thing solo music isn't your thing you might not totally dig this i would recommend checking out some of his other records but this is his first one too i believe i believe this is his first solo record so really really cool uh, give the vibe some conjumal a couple strata east pieces here Uh, these are the rarest that I have. The Sojourner Ensemble El Salam. Um, I also have Elephant Trot Dance by this group, but I figure I would show this one as it's probably rare. Fantastic, 1974 uh, Spiritual Jazz. Just amazing, amazing record. I love the artwork on this too, but just fantastic. 
and then to send some like in Phoebe. I know this one's been talked about quite a bit. Some people don't love it. Some people don't like the vocals on it. Other people do. I happen to be in the, be in the latter camp. I love it. I think it's amazing. I love the vocals. I have no qualms with this record whatsoever. More great spiritual jazz. A group put together by uh, Bill Lee, which was uh, Spike Lee's father, actually. I know most people probably know that by now, but if you don't, pretty cool piece of uh, information. Uh, shout out to Joe, actually, if you happen to see this. Thank you. He's the one that hooked me up with these, so thank you, Joe. Next up here, a blue note. I don't have a lot of original blue notes. Um, at least ones that are really valuable because I don't really collect a lot of the earlier stuff. But this is one of my favorites on the label for sure. Out to Lunch and Original Mono. The New York USA label. Um, yeah, the cover's a bit beat, but the record's in fantastic shape. So I'm not sure what this goes for now. I haven't looked up in a while, but I'm sure it's probably still going for quite a bit. Um, Eric Delphi's stuff you know, always moves, so he's always really, really popular, so just a fantastic recording, obviously, so I'm sure you know all about this, Jonas. Another one here that I have showed recently in one of my past videos, but I figured I would just show it again. Creative Arts Ensemble. Um, really, really hard to find. New Horizons. He also had a record on Nimbus West, which is a bit easier to find. I guess than this, but this is the one that's really uh, sought after, and for good reason too, I think. Fantastic jazz on the uh, Riza Records label. Show the sleeve there, or not the sleeve, the label. Sorry. Sorry, I just woke up. It's like 3:30 in the afternoon too, uh, almost four now. So I know sleep patterns all messed up, but. Uh, there's that. These I showed in my last video as well. But I figured I'll just show them real quick. Don Polo Milford Graves. Yale Live at Yale University. Uh, part 1, I think it is. I know there's another part to this. A different cover, a different release. Um, there's also a earlier pressing of this, co or this uh, record with hand-drawn cover art, which is the one that I'm really after. Um, but yeah, fantastic music, great out there jazz, free jazz. And then Roach Ohm, Universal Expressions. Uh, this is more, so basically it's a poet, female poet doing her poetry over the music of uh, Juju. Who have, they've had records on um, Strata as well, I believe, and then a bunch of great, uh, great music from them. But yeah, they do the music on this, and then the poetry is okay to me, it's... Um, it's not bad, it's whatever, but the music is really what what did it for me on this one, so. Great, great music. Universal Expressions, pretty plain label once again. And then this artwork has definitely been used before for other records. I know I've seen it. It's a pretty standard uh, artwork there. One minute, let me flip this Stanley Cowell. What are we at for time? Almost 20 minutes, 18 minutes, almost 19 minutes. So. Uh, these last few here are newer records. I just picked these up recently. Um, got most of these at FMU. This is Zero Sen Sunrise. I got this one actually locally. It was an FMU score. Zero Sen Sunrise. Um, really cool Japanese funky jazz stuff. Or jazzy funk, I guess more. It's more funky. Um, but yeah, fantastic. One I wasn't really familiar with before. I just seen it in the shop and I just decided to pick it up. Um, this is their second record. I think it's from like 75 or 77, something like that. Mid to late 70s. But just fantastic. Uh, yeah, fantastic jazz. So I don't know too much about I don't know anything about the group actually. There's a couple. Um, it's an all Japanese group, but there's a couple of vocal tracks in English from a female vocalist. Um, I think most of the tracks are online, so you could probably check it out, but Zero Sen with Sunrise. Uh, there's another Strata East one, probably should have showed this with the other ones, but I just got this recently, so. Um, the Water Bears, Cosmic Twins. Uh, I know this one's pretty sought after as well on the label. 
I managed to get this for a really decent price at uh, FMU, so really clean copy too. So really happy to have that one finally. I haven't listened to it yet, so can't really speak on it. Uh, this one I have listened to, the Itaru Oki Trio. Uh, pretty well known first record from them. I think it translates to like Homicide Classroom or Murder in the Classroom or something really crazy. Kind of a crazy name, but fantastic Japanese trio jazz. I would highly recommend this if you're a fan of uh, sort of out there Japanese free jazz. His other record is called uh, Trumpets in Modern Jazz. That one might be a bit more well-known. Um, I'm still after that one actually, but this one was a fantastic find. I think this one's actually rarer than the Trumpets in Modern Jazz, so I never see this one around anywhere. There's a couple copies up for sale from uh, Japan. Hard to find for sure. And the last one here, and probably my favorite pickup as of late. I've been after this one for years. New York Ensemble, East New York Ensemble Day Music at the helm. Finally picked up an OG of this on the Folkways label. Um, once again, back to that Middle Eastern jazz, you know, or Eastern jazz, whatever, it's fantastic. Um, this is incredible. I love this record. I can't say enough good things about this. Um, yeah, I'm sure you know about this, Jonas. Um, the reissue came out uh, a number of years ago. I think the reissue goes for quite a bit now, too. I've seen it priced anywhere from like 70 to 100 bucks, so. Um, but yeah, when I got this, I show, sold my reissue, so. Um, really happy to have this, though. This is fantastic. Definitely my favorite on the Folkways label. So that's it. Um, I guess I think I showed everything. Like I said, I could show more like, you know, stuff like this where it has like, um, I don't know, just like $100 records, $80 records, but we've all seen those before, gong pressing, stuff like that. So we'll figure out, show some more stuff that doesn't usually get showed, uh, mainly jazz, that's what I'm into. So Jonas, congratulations again, really cool contest. Um, so there's a prize, no one has done this before in the BC. So hope you enjoyed my entry and um, hope that I win. So. Talk to you soon. Peace.